I'm like, I'm never doing that. <laughs> this is all precious, so this is Oh, like, y'all don't need to send me the costume jewelry. Oh my god, look how pretty. Hi, Zoe! <laughs> Yes, yes, much better. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy fine jewelry, you have come to the right place. And emphasis on fine jewelry because there are some things I would never buy. And those things include costume jewelry from Chanel. Guys, those things are way too overpriced. There is way too much um, availability of great high quality jewelry that is real, that is authentic, that are made by awesome jewelers that are at very good price points for us to be spending money on costume jewelry, especially at the prices that Chanel charges for costume. It is crazy. So the metal they use is called palladium. Well, most of their jewelry pieces is made out of palladium. While palladium is a higher quality um, costume jewelry metal, for me that is an oxymoron because what we're saying is high quality costume. You know what I mean? It's like opposite things. And there wouldn't really be anything wrong with that except for how much they charge. So it is costume jewelry being charged at fine jewelry prices and that is why I am not with the costume jewelry selection from Chanel. I also feel like their costume jewelry looks a little bit gaudy and that's just my opinion. And I feel like they almost want to look like the things you could pick up from the beauty supply store. Some of them are just really out there, just very chunky, have the huge CC logo all over them. And I'm just like, eh. I'm a fine jewelry girl. I like my pieces to have a sleek, chic look. Even if it's a statement piece, I don't want it yelling at me. You know what I mean? Unless it's just my diamonds flashing. And that still, you know, it looks good. It doesn't look... Anyways. <laughs> In today's vlog, uh, so I'm actually just introducing you to what I'm about to do, Chanel is pushing their fine jewelry selection this year. They have actually sent an allotment to a select few stores, and my Neiman Marcus is one of them. My um, essay there, Zoe, has received some. She also sent me a portfolio of items that she has access to, asked me what I liked, and I picked out about 12 to 15 things that I want to try on. And so she has gathered them for me and requested the ones she didn't have. And she set up an appointment for us to try on all of those items today. So I'm about to head over there and see what she has and check it out. Now on the fine jewelry spectrum, Chanel does a great job. Um, the quality, the workmanship, the beauty, the aesthetic, all of that is there on their fine jewelry. So as usual, I want to see it for myself. I want to experience it, you know, in person. And of course, I want to share that with you. So that is what we are going to do right now. So I chose to do this at Neiman Marcus just because I bought so many other things with Zoe. All of my Roberto coin pieces, my Apollita pieces, some of my David Yerman pieces, um, my Van Cleef and Arpels necklace. So we have done a lot of business with Zoe. Also, the store is just larger and more comfortable for that kind of thing. Chanel has also received um, the Chanel in Neiman Marcus has also received some fine jewelry pieces as well, but because of my existing jewelry relationship with Zoe, that is why I am choosing to try these pieces on with her. So let us get started. Let's head over to the mall. Let's go and see what Zoe has for us today. Yeah, girl, you always tend to drive me crazy. Looking at me with those eyes. Put some music on, turn the lights down low, throw the pillows off the bed, blow the candles out, move your body slow, you got something on your mind, I'ma try to help you let it go. Yeah, these are pretty. 
and different. Mm. Yeah. You take them out. It's like shooting. Cause it reminds me of the times uh, when I was down in you. Turn the lights down low Throw the pillows off the bed Blow the candles out Move your body slow You got something on your mind I'ma try to help you let it I promised I would wait for you But I'm getting so impatient Tell me that you're ready now this room is big enough for two And I wanna do that something Something that will blow your mind Do you know the things you do to me? Touch me and I'll make you understand yeah. Do you know the things you make me feel? I can show you everything <laughs> <laughs> Let me take you under Where nobody can see I just wanna dance, dance, dance with you Harder than a summer So put your hands on me The three pieces I love the most are the star earrings, the number five ring with the diamonds, and the little gold Coco Crush necklace with the little diamonds um, in the middle. Those are my top three things. I loved all of the pieces um, overall, but in terms of where my collection is and the things that I know I need and the things that I know I will wear, those are the three things that I enjoy. A lot of the other pieces were super beautiful, but just a little bit to statements or I just know they won't blend into my overall aesthetic and I just don't want to buy anything that's going to sit. I like to buy things that I know I'm going to wear and I'll be using. So that's why those three items are my top three. Let me know the things that you liked the most and uh, what you think of the Chanel fine jewelry collection. So basically what they're doing is if they hit their sales goal, they're going to keep the Chanel fine jewelry inside Neiman Marcus indefinitely. But if they don't hit the sales goal, then they're going to have to um, remove it. It will just be a temporary thing. So it will be there until May 31st. So if you're around, you can go check it out. And this is in multiple different cities. So maybe your local store has some as well. Thank you for hanging out with me today. See you friends in another video.